Adam has an email. Okay. Single word, all caps. Quarterman? Four exclamation, or four uh, question marks. Yeah. He spelled it wrong. Spelled didn't, quarterman did wrong? Did not include the second N. It's two Ns. Yep. Quarterman. Yeah. Alan Quartermain? Yeah, Alan Quartermain. Quarter, quarter, yeah. Yep. All right. Well, I'll echo his question. Quarterman? Yeah, what about him? I don't know. Him. Cool. Yeah. That what was, about what about Quarterman? That was the, that's the extent of the email. Okay. It's kind of it's whatever you make of it. Yeah, no. Is he some like arcade folk hero? No, it was it was the EGM rumors section yeah. was oh, was pinned yes. by yeah. they they would always say like the rumors come from Quarterman. Yeah. Yeah. Quarterman's been in his lab doing blah 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 blah. Was that <laughs> was that always on the last page of the magazine or no? no. It was in the middle. It was yeah. kind of and first if you were third. a subscriber for a while, there was like a shitty Poorly printed cardboard card in the middle the that would have like late breaking fucking rumors and move sheets and stuff. Mm. Someone scanned in. I remember saw recently someone scanned in like that WWF arcade game. It was like a moves list, and it was like Quarterman's cheat sheet. Hmm. Thanks, uh, Quarterman. Thanks, Quarterman. Yeah. My understanding is that that was just the name they slapped on all their rumors stuff. Uh, there was, so there was and, no and Quarterman. So there was no Quarterman. It That's was just shame. everyone contributing to the rumors section over okay. the course of time and it was a name they could put on it that then when the industry called up and said dude I when I told you that I didn't want it to end up in the fucking book yeah. they could say oh I guess Quarterman heard it from someone else <laughs> huh nice. that's kind of shitty they had some other enigmatic I don't know I don't know if they ever used that but, but yeah, yeah. there's definitely like my understanding is that there was not there was never a Quarterman okay. per se it was just here's all the rumors strung together right I mean I, I can see why you'd be curious because Sushi X was such a big deal in he was my hero for a long time. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how they characterized Sushi X. It was just a little cartoon ninja. Yeah. No, but yeah, but I mean, he's like, like he's always in Japan yeah, doing like, stuff. Like you got a sense of what this. He's out there is. digging through the crates, f- digging through dumpsters, right. finding the latest <laughs> fighting game news. Right. Yes, like, like no, it's the Cirque manager. He's <laughs> hanging out in Chicago somewhere. <laughs> like don't. But that was the thing. He was like he was like this master fighting game player or something, right? Right. That like was always huge, the fighting game guy. Like, uh, yeah, as it like changed person, like like as the the person behind it changed over the years. Yeah, I think that was the one thing but, that they wanted to maintain. Was Ken, that Ken Williams was the one that held the title? I think for a long. That's time. That's what Wikipedia said. He had it for almost a decade. Yeah, but he wasn't actually the first. Not the first. No. Um, I could not find a full list of Sushi X. I'm not sure such a thing exists. Sushi X is. Yeah, I don't know. I should say. Yeah. Uh, who knows how many there were. Couldn't have been that many. I had one conversation where I said, yes, I would like to be the new Sushi X, but it never actually happened. Damn. Wow. When we were part of, <laughs> huh. when we were all part of Ziff, oh, Joe, man. Joe Fielder oh, really? asked me, he said, yeah. like, hey, do you want, do you want to maybe be Sushi X? Wow. And, and like, we're talking like maybe what we want to do online or something like that. And I was like, sure, I'll be fucking Sushi X. <laughs> Why not? Uh, but it never came up how again. Could you, how could you say no to that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. It's just, it's just like such a dumb thing. Yeah. Right. This is years after all that stuff. They're like, yeah, fine. Wait, sure. had it lapsed for a while? I, th- I think they had never gone without a Sushi X okay. for a while. I and mean, then they brought it back for, was it GMR? Was that the the book, the magazine that was like kind of the I mean, younger? G- GMR was a magazine. Yeah, yeah, I know. But was that the one that was like aimed at younger? What was the one that Miguel worked on? <sighs> it might have been. G- well, so GMR existed as a uh, as a retail tie-in similar to Game Informer, I think. Oh, it, okay. Was that where the, was, was it? Best Buy? No. It's yeah, the, the one that no. Andy Eddie or am I that was at gamer that was much later yeah yeah I just wait am I crazy no maybe like I, I swear I remember GMR being a retail magazine like for a store but I don't remember which store it was I don't know because there was nothing but GameStop at that point right that wasn't before the EB merger probably yeah I have maybe I might be I don't wrong. remember yeah Babages. yeah, Babages. yeah Babages. that's the one elbow yeah uh, magazines used to be used to be fun. I bought a Famitsu in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's just nothing but tens. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't actually looked inside yet. Forty, 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 <laughs> forty. <laughs> oh God! I remember when Famitsu used to be just so incredibly revered by kind of the Western magazine reading audience. The it's best, like, yeah, the best yeah. thing was finding like, out how they were not to be revered. Yeah. Yes. And, well, so, like, wow, you guys still think that this is like the... I mean, the EGM review style, the the four review thing, yeah. where they took it from Famitsu. Totally, totally. Um, but the thing I never understood was whether Famitsu was always super dodgy or if they got that way over time. I don't know. Yeah. Like, back in the day when everybody looked up to them as like, oh, this is the ultimate video game magazine, like, were they actually it's respectable? Like, no, you, just, you just can't read it. 
Yeah. And you don't understand how the Japanese end of the video game industry works. Right. Because you haven't been there. Yeah. When someone, it was when someone told me that they wanted to look at my Soul Calibur interview before we published it. And I was like, what? No. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, no, this is how business is done. Over here. Like, well, guess what? <laughs> Click. Yeah. Ugh. Wow. Those were the days. Ugh.